Welcome to our celebration for Black Catholic History Month. I'm your host, Evangelist Richard Lane. For more information on these Catholic saints and many more, please go to the website, richardlaneministries.com. Enjoy your program. November 20th. Today we celebrate the life of Mary Lou Williams. A singer, composer, and extraordinary jazz artist, Mary Lou Williams dedicated her life to her craft. She wrote literally hundreds of songs and compositions for many great jazz legends. Born in 1902 at the tender age of 12, she began her professional traveling performance career. She would eventually not only perform, but teach and compose with the likes of Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Benny Goodman, Duke Ellington, and Miles Davis, just to name a few. Williams traveled and performed all over the United States, South America, and Europe. And after accepting an invitation to perform in England, she decided to stay there for two years. This was around 1952, and music had encompassed the majority of her life for over 40 years. She was tired of traveling, as the road life had literally taken a mental and physical toll upon her life. Upon returning to the United States, she took a three-year sabbatical from music and became Catholic in 1957. While performing in Paris in 1954, this extraordinarily talented and gifted woman would have an encounter with God. It was said that she experienced a mystagogical moment where the Holy Spirit spoke to her and implored her to pray every day and had an encumbered desire or an unencumbered desire to get closer to God. She immediately dropped everything and ran toward the Lord. After converting to Catholicism, it was many of her famous friends that asked her to come back. And she began to also compose and perform for religious music as well. She loved her faith so much that her own priest, Father O'Brien, would eventually become her new road manager and travel with her for many years until the end of her career. From 1977 to 1981, Williams and Father O'Brien would be invited to Duke University to teach the history of jazz and directing the Duke Jazz Ensemble. Succumbing to cancer in 1981 at the age of 71, Mary Lou Williams' funeral mass was held at the St. Ignatius of Loyola Catholic Church in Durham, North Carolina. Among those who attended were the great Dizzy Gillespie, Benny Goodman, and Andy Kirk. Let us pray today for all musicians and composers that the Holy Spirit might speak to others through their talents. Let them pray twice for those who use their voices to proclaim the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. And let us pray for those who are seeking a purpose to be fulfilled in their own lives. Mary Lou Williams, pray for us. I thank you very much for the privilege of your time, and I hope you enjoyed our celebration of African American Saints Black Catholic History Month. If you want more information on these saints or on this ministry, please go to the website, richardlaneministries.com. Again, that's richardlaneministries.com. You can also catch us on our podcast, podcast is In Your Lane Podcast. Again, that's In Your Lane Podcast, and it can be available on Apple Music, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Again, thank you very much for the privilege of your time. Take care. God bless.